Today, I will be showing you guys how to make a working sea pickle farm in Minecraft. So without further ado, let's get into the video. To begin, you will be needing these materials to start building your farm. Pause the video if you need to. To begin building your farm, you're going to want to grab your chests, harbors, and rails and place them in this plus shaped pattern. This is where all of your drops will be going from your sea pickle farm. You can expand it any way you want. However, for the sake of the video, we're going to be making this kind of design. Next, what you want to do is grab your glass and place it exactly how I place it. Make sure to place it on the edges of the rails. So you place it like just above where the rails are sitting. For this next step, you're going to want to grab your temporary blocks and place them in this pattern around the farm. After you do that, grab your slabs and place them in this L shape. Once you are done with that, you're going to want to break your temporary blocks and place them on the inner corners of your slabs like this. Then what you want to do is place slabs on the outside of your temporary blocks like that. After this, what you want to do is get your glass back out and place it on the outer rim of your farm. This will ensure that all the water stays in one place and it doesn't leak out anywhere. Once you are done with this next step, break your temporary blocks on the inside of your farm and then place your hopper minecarts on top of the rails. Once you are done with this, place chests on top of the slabs in the middle of your farm and then place another rim of glass going around the outside of your farm like so. For this next part, you're going to want to place your water buckets on the slabs like this. Once you're done with that, place one water bucket in the middle like that. Then you're going to want to place your coral around the slabs like this. If you did this correctly, none of your coral should die. Next, what you're going to want to do is waterlog each of your chests like this. After you do that, place your temporary blocks like this on top of the chests. Once you have done that, place your pistons facing downwards. This is needed so it can break the sea pickles as they spawn. This is a vital part of your farm and if you don't do this correctly, it could ruin your entire farm, which is not good. After that, you're going to want to go to the top of your farm, make sure it looks like this. After you do that, break your temporary blocks and place glass over them like this. This is to ensure that no sea pickles fly out or get glitched. What you're going to want to do is grab your temporary blocks, dispenser, and an ender pearl. This ender pearl will make it much easier to do. So you're going to want to place your temporary blocks in this pattern like this. Once you do that, ender pearl down into it like this. It may take a couple tries. Then place your dispenser downwards like that. Next, what you're going to want to do is break your temporary blocks like so. Place your building blocks on all of the pistons like that. For this next part, you're going to want to put a hopper in the middle of your farm like that. Two stone brick slabs on the side. Doesn't matter which side you pick. One stone brick in between them. And then a redstone repeater on two ticks facing towards the hopper. Then you want to place a redstone dust exactly like how I'm placing it. Then. After that, you want to place two temporary blocks. Break the one in the middle, place an observer facing upwards. Then you're going to want to place slabs in the same pattern that I am placing them. Then place a lever, redstone comparator, turn it on. Then a redstone repeater on four ticks, and then another one on two ticks like this. Then you're going to want to place your remaining redstone. After you're done with this, you can want to grab a chest. Once you grab your chest, you're going to also want to grab some bone meal as well. Place it in your chest, then turn your farm on. If you did everything correctly, you should be getting sea pickles. Like this. If my tutorial helped you out in any way, please let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out. See you in the next one.